guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's John Alexis. So for today's video, we are going to do an unboxing of the DJI Osmo Mobile 4 or the DJI OM4 Smartphone Stabilizer. So this is the latest smartphone stabilizer of the DJI next to the DJI OM3. This was released, um, I think, four months ago or last August 2020. Before anything else, I would like to thank the sponsor of this DJI OM4. He requested not to disclose his name, but thank you super duper for this. Yes, I'm so happy because this is going to help in my vlog so much, lalo na sa outdoors. So the key features of this um, smartphone mobilizer are uh, the magnetic quick mount, the full, it's, it is foldable and portable, active track 3.0, quick roll, gesture control, and start story mode. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo later kung ano yung mga yun. Uh, the main difference of this OM4 to the OM3 is the magnetic quick mount. So, yung OM3, wala pa siyang magnetic quick mount. So, I will show you later what that magnetic quick mount is. So, let's open the box. Uh, actually, naka-plastic siya. So, tinanggal ko lang kasi inopen ko na siya. So, I will show you. When you open it, ganyan siya. Create magnetic moments. And then, here you can see the instructions on how to mount your phone to the gimbal. And then, meron siyang ganito para easy to pull. So, that's the gimbal. And then, dito, the bag and the magnetic mount. What's inside the box? We have the DJI OM4. Magnetic phone clamp, magnetic ring holder, grip tripod, power cable, storage pouch, wrist strap, manuals, alignment guide, riser pad for small phones like iPhone 7, 8, SE2, Samsung S8, etc. Then the wiper. So now, is set up na natin siya. Yeah, attach muna natin yung phone natin sa magnetic phone clamp. So, this is the magnetic phone clamp. And this is our phone. So, um, nung ginamit ko yung smartphone mobilizer, the DJI OM4, I used my iPhone for um, video. Pero just to show you the setup, igagamitin muna natin itong Android phone natin. So, using the magnetic phone clamp, attach this clamp to the center of the phone. So, Meron ditong nakalagay and just make sure that the phone camera is here. So ayan, may nakalagay na phone camera in this direction and may arrow dito. So dapat ditong side yung camera ng phone. So let's attach. And make sure that this is in the center para kapag inattach na natin siya sa gimbal, um balanced, balanced siya. So, as it says here, the phone camera is in this direction. So, andito yung camera natin. Okay? You can also use the magnetic ring holder. So, this is the magnetic ring holder. Para hindi na kayo magtatanggal-tanggal every time you need to use the smartphone mobilizer. So, also, you have to make sure that this is um, attached in the center of your phone. And para hindi kayo mahirapan, ito yung alignment guide ni OM4. Ia-align nyo lang siya sa phone nyo. And then, yan, para makuha niyo yung center. May sticker siya dito sa likod. Yan. For this setup, we are going to use the magnetic phone clamp lang. So, ito lang. Para ano lang siya, detachable sa phone. Next, align the marks on the phone clamp and the mounting plate. So, here sa phone clamp, meron kayong makikita dyan sa upper part ng clamp na dot there. And then, dito naman sa ating gimbal, meron din kayong makikita dito na dot sa upper part. Ayan. Dapat uh, aligned sila para fit yung phone clamp natin dito sa ating gimbal. So, i-attach na natin. You need to be careful not to pinch your finger kapag nag attach kasi sobrang lakas ng magnet nila. Just be sure na it's aligned. So, imamount na natin siya. Again, be careful kasi talagang nagugulat ako kapag di, minamount ko to. So, here. Di ba nakakagulat? 
So next, we unfold na natin yung gimbal. So here. Um, by the way, merong stand na kasama yung OM4. So, i-attach muna natin siya. So, there, my stand na siya. Now, I am going to show you the onboard buttons to control this DJI OM4. But before that, the DJI MIMO app is required to control the camera. So, uh, i-install nyo lang yung DJI MIMO app sa uh, from Play Store or App Store. So, there... So let's start with the M button. So this is the M button. Here. This is the M button. There. So if you want to check the battery level, you just have to press this once. So there. Umilaw siya. So yan yung battery level ng ating gimbal. So two bars siya out of four. Ayan, two bars. To power on the gimbal, you just have to press and hold or long press. Ayan, long press lang. So, narinig niyo yung sound. Pag narinig niyo yun, naka-on na siya. Automatic na magpo-position yung phone niyo in portrait mode. So, we need to open the DJI MIMO app to control the camera. So, pupunta muna tayo doon sa sa app. Kapag na-open niyo na yung MIMO app, i-coconnect niyo siya via Bluetooth sa phone niyo. Para magamit natin yung camera in video. So, you just have to switch to turn on your Bluetooth, and then, ayan, connected na yung OM4 device natin. Once it is connected, pwede na nating magamit yung camera. Okay, DJI device connected, then let's go to the camera para matry natin yung ibang features ng ating gimbal. Another control ng M button natin is the switching between photo and video mode. So, kapag naka-on na siya, you just have to press this again once. So, i-press natin once. Ayan. As you can see, nag-switch siya. Ayan. Video mode na siya ulit. So, let's try again. Ayan. It's already switched again to, cam to camera. Okay. So, next. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, the default mode ng ating OM4 is portrait. So, di ba, usually, kapag nag-vlog tayo, we use the landscape mode. Press twice lang to switch this to landscape mode. So, let's press the M button twice. There. Again. There, di ba? It's super convenient kasi magpe-press ka lang. Now, another control ng ating M button is to power off. So, kapag ganun, I long press mo lang siya until it beeps twice to power off. Okay, pag ganyan, naka-off na, na, na ulit siya. The next button is the joystick. So, this is the joystick. Yan. Gumagalaw yan. I mean, nagagalaw yan. So, if you want to control the tilt axis, you just have to move this joystick up and down. So, let's see. Let's move it upwards there, and then downwards. Ayan. Again, upwards and downwards. Diba? Sobrang dali niya lang gamitin. If you want naman to control or to move the pan axis, imove niyo naman siya sidewards. Left and right. So, let's try. There, and then there. Diba? Sobrang dali lang. Hindi nyo na kailangang mag-move. Na kayo mismo yung mag-move. Itong gimbal na yung gumawa ng paraan to adjust for you. So, yung next button natin is the shutter button. This is the shutter button. The one with a red dot sa gitna. There. So, ang purpose naman nito, you just have to press once if you want to take a photo or to start or stop recording. So, let's try. So, na-capture siya. Let's see kung na-capture siya dito. There. Ayan. So, na-capture siya. Now, let's start naman recording. So, i-switch muna natin from photo to video using the M button. 
So, just press this once. Yan, video mode na siya. So, let's press again this shutter button once to start the recording. There. So, nag-record na siya. Then, to stop, press again the shutter button once. There. So, let's see kung na-record siya. So, na-record naman siya. So, another function ng shutter button is if you want to burst photos. So, usong-uso to kapag nag-jump shot, diba? na gusto mong makuha yung perfect shot. So, if you want to do that, you just have to hold and press this uh, shutter button or long press. So, itry natin. So, madami siyang nakuha kasi nag-burst shooting tayo. There. Okay. So, the next button is the zoom slider. So, this is the zoom slider. This one. Ayan. So, you just have to push this up or down to zoom in or out. So, let's try. Ayan. Zooming in and then let's zoom out. There. Diba? Napaka-convenient talaga kapag may gimbal. Kasi, hindi mo na kailangang mag sa phone just to zoom in and zoom out. Dito sa gimbal, meron na siyang zoom, zoom glider. Zoom slider. <laughs> so, the next button is the trigger. So, where is the trigger? The trigger is here. Here, at the back of the OM4. So, and dito yung other buttons, the trigger is here. So, what are the functions naman of this trigger? If you want to put on lock mode, so what is lock mode? Ang lock mode, para hindi gumalagalaw yung camera, if you want to focus the camera on one direction only. So, kasi kapag hindi natin um, press yung lock mode, um, pag ganyan, ganyan mo yung camera, ayan, di ba malikot siya, mag magalaw siya. Now, if you press and hold, or long press. Let's try to let's try to press and hold. Ayan. Ayan. ba? So kahit galawin natin yung gimbal, yung camera is focused pa rin sa direction na una nating sinet. Ayan. So if you want to release the lock mode naman, so i-release ko na siya. There. Ayan. So malikot na naman yung camera. So, ba? Ganun siya. Mas madali kasi if you want to focus lang sa subject mo, i-press mo lang yung lock mode, hindi na siya magalaw. So, another function of the trigger is the active track. So, ito yung gustong-gusto ko dito sa gimbal, the active track, kasi it automatically detects your face, and kung hindi nyo man ma-detect, you can set your subject na yun lang yung um, focus ng camera. So, let us try. Ipipress once mo lang yung trigger, Tingnan natin kung ma-detect niya yung aking face. Let's see. Ayan. So, I will try to move. Tingnan natin kung ma-detect ni Gimbal and ng ating phone yung face ko. There. So, kahit saan ako magpunta, um, automatically nag-move si, si Gimbal. Now, to recenter the Gimbal, you just have to press this twice, the trigger. So, ayan. ba minsan, masyado na natin siyang um, ganyan, upwards and then downwards. Para makukuha natin ulit yung center, i-recenter natin siya by pressing this twice. One. Ayan. Press natin siya again. There. So, nag re center siya. Another function is um, switching the back camera to front camera and vice versa. So, try natin. So, to switch to front cam, let's press thrice. One, two, three. There. Front cam na. And then, three, thrice again. One, two, three. Yan. Balik siya sa back camera. So, you see the convenience talaga of this gimbal. Na hindi mo na kailangang mag-tap anything sa phone nyo. So, lastly, is the sports mode. So, I press and hold natin yung trigger to put on sports mode. So, tingnan muna natin without the sports mode. So, hindi ko muna i-press yung trigger. Ganito siya. Ayan. 
mabagal yung sunod ng camera. Okay? Kasi itong sports mode, this is best when filming moving cars or running. Ganyan. So, ipipress na natin yung sports mode. Press and hold. So, there. Diba bumilis yung sunod ng camera? Ayan. Kasi best talaga ito kapag may mga moving vehicles and then running. Kaya siya sports mode. Kasi kapag may mga moving objects, yan, kapag yung subject mo moving, mabilis sumusunod yung camera. So, makukuha niya from one point to another. There. Then, i-release ko naman. Tingnan natin yung difference. There. There. Yan. Hindi na sumusunod agad yung camera. So, hindi mo makukuha yung galaw. Yung mabilis na galaw ng subject mo. Yun. So, ito din yung favorite ko sa gimbal kasi may ganung feature siya. Kaya, this is best this is really best for outdoor films. So, by the way, dito nyo i-coconnect yung charger using the provided um, cable. Ayan, this is Type-C. Type-C siya. Dito nyo siya i-coconnect. And then, we've noticed na meron din ditong USB USB port. Pwede kayong mag-charge ng phone nyo. If ever, uh, just in case, kunwari low bat ito, pwede nyo siyang i-charge dito sa gimbal itself. So that's it guys for our unboxing of this DJI Osmo Mobile 4 or the DJI OM4. So I am really happy with this gimbal kasi um, the first time I used this was in Farm Plate Gabawan. So please check out for my Farm Plate adventure. I will put the link in the description box. So dun ko unang ginamit tong gimbal and um, super ganda no first experience na yun kasi it really improves the stability of your video. And hindi talaga siya shaky. Mas convenient siya kasi um, one button away na lang yung functions. You, so you don't need to tap anything na sa phone nyo. And just this gimbal, mako-control nyo na yung camera and then the video. So there, it's really convenient and efficient. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell. See you on my next vlog. Bye and keep safe!